I'm going to go ahead and do a full walkthrough of the installation process for MediPaw and all of the pieces that uh, are needed to make it go, because there's a couple of additional pieces. So uh, to demonstrate this, I'll just go straight to uh, the MediPaw website uh, and over to download. So this is the link to the actual um, downloadable software. I've removed it all from my machine just so that I can do this uh, do this demo. So there's that piece there. The other pieces that we'll need are the Leap Motion software, uh, as well as uh, I use Loop, uh, Loop MIDI uh, to do the loopback pieces. Uh, I don't need the .NET stuff because I'm running Windows 10 uh, recently updated, so that's not required. So the first thing that I'll do is I will load the, uh, the MediPod piece, uh, and it will probably warn me here. Um, Google is protecting me from myself. Oh, somehow I did it twice, saying it's not commonly downloaded, but I'm going to say go ahead and keep it. So that has downloaded the setup for me. Um, I can now click on that guy. Uh, and I have to say more info because this is an unrecognized app uh, because it's me, an independent developer, and uh, not a not a uh, license publishing uh, publishing house. So I will click more info and I will say run anyway. And then I get to the setup after all of those scary screens. Uh, and I will just take the defaults for all of these uh, setup pieces have it install in the default location. I will say OK. And it should uh, ask me for administrator permission in a moment. Say OK, and it just took a moment to uh, to install. So that piece is, uh, is all installed now. Uh, and I can uh, go ahead and run the MidiPaw app. Uh, and there it is, didn't find a leap motion. Uh, and here it doesn't have any kind of loopback MIDI ports available to it yet. Um, so I will just, just leave, that, leave that running there. So the other pieces of uh, software that we need are of course the leap motion software uh, and the loop MIDI by, uh, by Mr. Erickson. So let's do the leap motion uh, software first. I'll click over there and it takes, uh, takes us through to the Leap Motion developer site. Um, as I mentioned, the, the Leap Motion currently is focused mostly on developers, so things are treated like an SDK, but you can still get the required files this, this way. Um, so I will click on download 4.1.0. Uh, and you'll see it's getting a zip file. It's a fairly hefty one. Great, so there's that part. The leap motion uh, zip. So what I'm going to actually do uh, is I'm going to show this in a folder, and I'm going to open the zip file. And there's a folder in that zip file, so I'm just going to take that piece and I'm going to drag it over to my desktop uh, so that it unzips uh, over there. There we go. Uh, and I don't need that window anymore. So I will go ahead and open this Explorer window and the um, installation is right there. So I will double click on this guy. And yes, you can control my software uh, or update my machine. Uh, so this is the Leap Motion installation uh, piece. I will say next. I agree. And it is now working. Uh, and there are a couple of settings after this is set up as well, which I'll, uh, I'll recommend. So it's starting the Leap service, it says there. Perfect. And I, I will not launch the browser for VR setup. Uh, it's not necessary for what I'm doing. Um, I will just click uh, click finish at that point. So the Leap Motion software has been installed. And you can see that now I have a Leap Motion icon in, the, in my taskbar. Uh, I can right click on that and go to settings. And there's a couple of settings that I recommend. I don't allow images. Um, this is part of the virtual reality capabilities of the Leap Motion. For me, I'm not playing with virtual reality, so I turn that off just to make sure um, that we're not uh, using any um, any extreme bandwidth on the USB. Uh, and I also turn off the audio or audio auto orient on tracking. Um, it, sometimes with this on, it determines that your hands are upside down and you have reverse tracking for a bit. In my case, I orient the Leap Motion towards myself. Uh, in the way that it's intended, with uh, kind of the long way with the LED facing me. Uh, therefore, I don't, I don't need this, and it saves me, it saves me that trouble. So I will say, say OK there. Uh, and there's nothing going on with the leap motion there. So, um, 
So I think what I'll do, my, my leap motion here is unplugged. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and plug that in into my USB. There we go. Uh, and now the leap motion is green. The controller uh, controller is tracking. And if I bring up MIDI paw, it has detected the leap motion now. It doesn't say not found anymore. Uh, so we're uh, we're moving along. We're definitely definitely off to the races. I'll I'll close MIDI paw for now. Uh, and I don't need the leap motion site anymore. So the other thing uh, that I need, let me close that, uh, is the is the MIDI um, capability for the loopback because I have to connect this with my digital audio workstation somehow. So I'll click on that, which will bring me uh, to this other page in a moment. There we go. Took, took a moment. Uh, so this one, uh, Chrome will also probably protect you. Uh, if I click on this, I actually won't get any results. It doesn't even say anything. Uh, if I right click uh, and I say save link as, and let's say I just want to uh, copy it to my desktop. Uh, there we go, desktop. I just want to copy it, uh, copy it there for loop media setup. I hit save now, Windows will warn me. Um, it's telling me that it can't be downloaded securely because it's an unknown zip file from the internet. Uh, in this case, uh, I know and trust this one. I'm going to say keep, uh, which will go ahead and get me this, this zip file. So again, I can open this guy. Uh, his setup is one exe inside the zip, so I don't actually have to unzip it in order to, uh, in order to install it. So I'll go ahead and click on loop MIDI setup. Uh, where I will get this stuff. And I like these options just to auto start it. Uh, I have a shortcut. Um, actually, no, I'm going to take the shortcut off my desktop. I don't want that. Uh, and I'm going to say, I agree to these terms and I'll pick install, which will require confirmation. Yes, I agree. Okay, it is successful. So I will launch it. And this is what uh, Loop MIDI looks like. Uh, it is just a, this is just a little bit of a monitor window so you can see what's going on. Uh, with loop MIDI. And now what I'll do um, is I will start up uh, MIDI paw. And MIDI paw will come up. And now in my list, I have a loop MIDI MIDI port. So I can I can bring that up. So I have that there now. Um, what I'll do is I'll minimize the websites. And uh, we don't actually need the loop the loop MIDI piece there um, as well. Uh, and I will bring up my uh, digital audio workstation. In my case, I use Studio One. So the last step, uh, MIDI pause is basically set to go. I just need to go ahead and connect the um, this MIDI port into my digital audio workstation. It'll it'll be different for whichever one you happen to run, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like in in this particular in this particular one. So I'll go to Studio One Options, uh, and under External Devices, in this case. Um, these are my various uh, inputs on different MIDI ports is how Studio One treats them. I will say add, uh, and I'll treat it as a, as a new keyboard. It's, it's effectively sending continuous control messages, so I'll call it a new keyboard. Uh, and I will say the manufacturer is, let me move that up a little bit so we can, we can see. Uh, the manufacturer is Loop MIDI, device name Loop MIDI, just so I can keep track of it. Uh, this is the key part. I'm going to say receive from the Loop MIDI port. Uh, and I'm not going to filter out anything. I'll just say OK at that point. Uh, and now I have this loop MIDI port here. I will say OK there. And that means that within um, within Studio One, it can now it can now receive communications from that. Uh, so if I go here, I need to put it on all inputs. And then I will configure over here um, to actually send some information through. So I'll create just a quick sample rule. Uh, it'll send the mod wheel, uh, and you can see already there we are. Uh, as I move my hand over the leap motion, uh, it is sending mod wheel uh, to the dynamics, uh, which I think I can. There you go. Uh, simple as that. So that is the full install, and uh, hopefully you can follow along and get the same thing installed uh, on your side. Okay, thanks very much for watching.